Caber Castle in Kingscourt County, Cavan was purchased by the Criscadden family in 1991 and transformed into a luxury hotel. This year, Caber Castle celebrates its 30th anniversary. In this video, long serving staff members tell us what makes Caber Castle so special and share some of their fondest memories. I remember driving up the drive, coming across the bridge and coming on up the hill. And as we went up the hill, the castle started to appear through the trees. And I remember that magical feeling of seeing this big, huge building, a castle. I started back in August in 1992. I started off in the accommodation department and then progressed through each of the departments. And now I'm in reception over 20 years. I remember Pappy distinctly. I was out there cutting one of the greens and Pappy came over and he said to me, I'm the new owner. I said, well, that's great. There'd be something done about the place now. I first started um, in 99, so I did. I came on work experience with my course. It was hospitality management that I was studying. A position came free. Been here ever since, 21 years now. So I'm part of the antique furniture at this stage, so I am. <laughs> I, when I was here working, and then Howard and the family arrived, they started to develop, the, which was the courtyard. It was totally derelict. It was derelict. There was no roof on any of the buildings and there was trees growing up through them. That's what the, the back of the hotel looked like. Well, I've seen the castle develop. I've seen it going from 22 bedrooms to 105. Um, seeing all of the rooms redecorated, renovated the way it is now. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, plus seeing the family, seeing them getting married, children, children growing up, working here. Um, going on doing different things. We started with the basics and you can see the development through the courtyard, the cottages, the gardens outside. Every aspect has been developed into the fantastic hotel it is today. My fondest memories would be probably shared with Mitzi, Chris Gadden. Um, Mitzi would have often said to me, Michelle, come, we'll have a wee walk around the castle and see that the rooms are all in check and that. And one particular day she said to me, Michelle, she says, I have a painting that I'd like you to put up in one of the north wing corridors. And I said, gosh, Mitzi, I don't have a maintenance man on duty today. And she turned around and she said to me, Michelle, go and get me hammer and nail. And she says, I'll put the picture up myself. So <laughs> and indeed she did. She got, between us, we got the picture up on the wall, so we did. I remember my friends had seen some of the Criscadans around and they had pointed them out to us. And I said to them, thank you so much for bringing Capri Castle back to life and awakening, awakening Sleeping Beauty. My favourite things probably would be the staff, um, the family as well. The family have been a pleasure to work for. The whole ambience of the place, inside, outside, it is fantastic. It's a special. And it is thanks to the Criscadan family who have put so much commitment into it and the teams that come behind working it. Mitzi used to say, you know, you're in the hotel industry, so leave your worries at home, put your smile on your face when you come in. Howard and Mitzi Cuscadden has been great people to me. I've made a living here for all the years I'm here, and I'm semi-retired now, and Howard could have kicked me out, but he decided, you know what, batter away the way you are, you're grand, and I'm still here. 